When you were young and your heart was an open book You used to say, live and let live You know you did, you know you did, you know you did Now, now uh, again, another ridiculous hypothetical question. Re regardless of the party in power, regardless of the man or woman in the office, would we have been at war in Iraq? Everything up to that decision-making point is the same. Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, it got, a, it got the vote of a lot of de Democrats who uh, supported it. And actually, when Saddam was overthrown, uh, praised the president for doing it. It was the, it was the policy of the Clinton administration to have uh, regime change in, in Iraq. So, in a way, George Bush carried out what Bill Clinton wanted to do. Absolute BS, Senator. Absolute BS. <laughs> you cannot say well, that we know. had that, that <laughs> President Clinton had the authorization to go to war with Iraq. You can't say he just didn't have an opportunity to go. No one told him to go until Bush got the authority from Congress, including you, in 2002. What is Giuliani getting applause for on a complete nonsense like that? This is the Iraq well, Liberation Army. It was something cooked up by the INC, the Iraq, uh, Iraqi National Congress, with, with McCain and Lieberman pushing it. It had nothing to do with an American war in Iraq. Nothing to do with it. Well, it, you're, you're absolutely right, Chris, and that's what presidential campaigns are going to be about. Right now, he's on, he's on the stage with a group of other Republicans who would probably agree with and spout the same malarkey, and it's only going to be if he's the nominee and when he's confronting somebody like me or someone else in my party with the facts. NBC News. This is Today. And welcome to Today on this Monday morning. I'm Meredith Vieira. Then Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney will join us exclusively. But and you've got this stamp on I you as, as a flip-flopper. Every action I took as governor was on the side of life. I am pro-life. I'm not going to apologize for that. And you can look at my record to see that that's exactly the case. Are you annoyed that this continues to dog you then? Well, there are always going to be things that, uh, that your opponents use to, uh, to, to throw at you. But look, they were using that all during my campaign in Iowa. Mitt Romney is a shameless flip-flopper. What does Mitt Romney really stand for? Who knows? First, Mitt Romney says that he supports abortion rights and same-sex marriage. Then, Mitt Romney turns around and says that he opposes abortion rights and same-sex marriage. Well, Mr. Romney, which version of the truth is the true truth? Are you for it, or are you against it? Mitt Romney likes to play on both sides of an issue. Flip, flop, flip, flop. Mitt Romney is just another flip-flopper who tells people whatever he thinks they want to hear. Mitt Romney wants us to believe that he is both a Massachusetts liberal and a member of the religious right. Mitt Romney wants to have it both ways. Flip, flop, flip, Bob. The truth is that it doesn't matter if you're a progressive Democrat or a right-wing Republican. Either way, you just can't trust a single word that comes out of Mitt Romney's mouth. How could you trust a man who tries to convince you that he's against abortion rights right after he tried to convince you that he's in favor of, ab of abortion rights? I promise to tell the truth always about my intentions and my beliefs. Straight talk. Straight talk. A little straight talk. The success will be fairly uh, easy. I believe that we can win an overwhelming victory in a very short period of time. Easy, easy. It was easy. American people were led to believe that this would be some kind of a day at the beach, which many of us uh, fully understood from the beginning would be a very, very difficult undertaking. I knew it was probably going to be long and hard and tough, and uh, those that voted for it and thought that somehow it was going to be in some kind of an easy task, then I'm sorry they were mistaken. Maybe they didn't know what they were voting for.
That's what checks and balances are all about. Stay the course. We will stay the course, and yet we must stay the course. Former Senator, probable candidate Fred Thompson, addressing the annual Prescott Bush dinner in Stamford, Connecticut, he said, Al Qaeda have a hundred year plan. We have a plan until the next election. And added, We're living in a nation beset by suicidal maniacs. Got any evidence, Senator? Any evidence that there are even as many terrorist suicidal maniacs living with us here in the nation as there are, say, non terrorist suicidal maniacs who want to go in and shoot up a school or their workplace? Have you just watched too many episodes of 24? Dr. Paul, I am absolutely opposed to a national ID card. This is a total contradiction of what a free society is all about. The purpose of government is to protect the secrecy and the privacy of all individuals, not the secrecy of government. We don't need a national ID card. How will you be different in any way from President George W. Bush? I, I certainly would continue on my earlier theme that foreign policy needs to be changed. Uh, Mr. Republican Robert Taft, we have a statute of him in Washington. He advocated the same foreign policy that I advocate. I would work very hard to protect the privacy of American citizens, being very, very cautious about warrantless searches, and I would guarantee that I would never abuse habeas corpus. Many of Congressman Ron Paul's supporters took to the streets today. ABC 5 Sunny Lane joins us with the story. Thunder, lightning, rain, apparently not enough to intimidate fans of Republican candidate Ron Paul. They say don't take them lightly. They are active and organized. Ron Paul! Ron Paul! Ron Paul! They started at sunrise and continued through the storm. We came out here about 6 o'clock and uh, it was raining and it just got worse from there. Dozens of supporters of Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul drove hours to make a statement outside today's debate at Drake University. I figured there'd be a crowd this big for Rudy, a crowd this big for Mitt Romney, for McCain. Where are they? Fans say they kept chanting Ron Paul's name long after Giuliani and Romney supporters left because Paul differs from all the other candidates. He's trying to fix the problems that we're going to inherit. From Paul's stance on the war in Iraq. I want, you know, I want peace. I don't want any more people dying. To the economy. Well, he's never voted for a tax, tax increase his entire life. That, that tells me something. To scaling back government. Ron Paul is a constitutionalist and that's what the country needs. Ron Paul has mobilized thousands and thousands of voters nationwide. Many young and some from a different species. We have small dogs for small government. We're not just the internet. We're not just the internet. They pledge you'll be hearing much more from them this election. Get off your couches, people. This is our country. I'm Ron Paul. I am the champion of the Constitution.